Hello, my name is Andrew Lang and my group members are Andrew Ron and Andy Zhang. Today we'll be telling you about the water hammer. So what is the water hammer? The water hammer is a phenomenon that occurs in water pipeline systems where there is a valve that is closed very suddenly. The sudden closing of the valve creates a buildup of pressure on the valve due to the sudden stopping of the water in the system. So here are some examples of systems that you can see the water hammer. In your home you can see it in your shower or the faucet in your sink. But in reality, it's any water pipeline system that has a valve that can be closed very quickly. It is important to understand the water hammer because it can cause additional strain and fatigue on your valves, which could lead to the premature failure of those devices. So here's the system that we created to test the water hammer effect. We took 50 feet of hose and attached that to a pressure sensor and a valve. We closed the valve very quickly to watch the effect of pressure over time. So here's our plan for the math. We'll take our measurements and use conservation of math to solve Bernoulli's equation to find the pressure. We'll compare it to the water hammer equation we found online to find a maximum potential pressure created. And then we'll analyze our real life experiment by conducting a frame by frame analysis. So we all know how conservation of mass works. We'll take statistics found online to find the average gallons per minute of a hose. And then we'll use conservation of mass to find the velocity of the water inside our system from there. And here's Bernoulli's equation. After doing some cancellation and plugging in some numbers that we calculated before, we get that P2 can be about 175 PSI, assuming that no losses exist here. So here's a water hammer equation. Note that alpha is the speed of sound in water. Assuming that we can instantaneously close it, the maximum pressure we can get is delta P equals rho A delta V. Plugging in numbers, we get about 170,000 PSI, which is not possible with our current conditions. This is our nozzle head shutting off. This is a demonstration of turning on and off. Here's slow-mo footage of our pressure gauge when the nozzle head is turned off. And this video demonstrates the water hammer effect on the hose line. Here we have a pressure versus frame graph of the water hammer phenomenon once the exit valve is closed. The pressure quickly spikes to 40 psi before teetering down to a more steady 32 psi. The reason why our expected value doesn't match the calculated value is due to the fact that there was a loss from the hose itself not sitting perfectly straight on the ground, the tubing is flexible so there could have been expansion in the tubing, and that the valve was not closed quick enough to correctly create the water hammer effect. If we had more time, we would make our tubing rigid to minimize deformation. We would also add an electronic pressure sensor so that we could get a more accurate data readout. And we would also create a specialized valve closing system so that we can vary the time it takes to close the valve. And here are our citations.